Hello YouTube. Today we got a new creature I'm extremely excited about, and that is our dwarf caiman. So we're going to attempt to introduce him into his baby environment. Uh, he's right here. We're going to see how friendly he's going to be. Pretty not too bad. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, buddy. Sometimes they'll cooperate, sometimes they won't. Slightly nervous, I can tell. Okay, here we go. There he is, guys. That is Sir Chomsalot the Dwarf Cayman. We'll go ahead and slide his lid back on. He is currently in a 55 gallon which will accommodate him for a while. He will outgrow it. We do have another cage already ready to go. We just didn't want to overdo it on his first cage. And uh, as he grows, we'll build an environment in that one and get it ready. So that way, whenever he is ready, he'll be able to move directly to his new cage. I'm trying not to block the dude too bad as I'm moving some of the lighting fixtures. What we got in here is we have a a uh, 60 watt basking lamp, which we tested everything before he came home. We're getting a basking temperature of about 92 degrees, and we have a water temperature of about 84 to 85 degrees right now through a 100 watt water heater. Then we just have a LED light for some lighting. Uh, they don't really benefit from UVB. They spend most of the day in a burrow. He's got some minnows in there to eat already, and we'll probably give him a, a little bit of Missouri crock food. He's been on a pretty long car ride, about two and a half hours. So, we're not sure how long it will take him to jump in the water. But that is Sir Chomsalot, our dwarf came in. Thanks for watching. You'll probably see a lot more of this guy. He is kind of uh, the apex critter for me to get. I've been wanting one of these for a long time. I mean, they date back over 250 million years. Uh, all the crocodilians were around in some form with dinosaurs, so that's pretty cool, you know. And so getting him was a really, really big deal for me. Uh, obviously, keeping an alligator in your house is pretty near impossible to to commit to the life of that animal. Committing the life of something like this is pretty difficult because it can achieve three and a half to five feet depending on if it's male or female, and it's going to need a lot of space at that. But it is doable, you know, if you're prepared, if you're prepared to feed it, and if you're able to understand that it's never going to be cuddly and love you. You saw it let me pick it up today and uh, go right to the cage. Uh, you know, I'm probably going to get bit and mangled by it a few times over its life. But it may make me need stitches a time or two as it gets bigger, and that's just part of keeping one of these. That, you're going to have to understand if it's something you choose to do. So that's kind of what we're looking at. We're going to give him some croc feed in there too, just a little bit, let him kind of do his thing, and hopefully he'll go do some exploring. So thank you very much. And Question Girl is back as promised, and she says she has a question. How long do they live for? It's really kind of up in the air. There's still a lot of research on that. I mean, I've heard anywhere from 20 to 50 years and what I've read on the research I've done. This isn't as easy as research in say a ball python because there's just not been as many out there in captivity. So it is a long-lived animal though. You're going to need to be prepared to commit a significant length of time to it. So that's kind of something you do need to be prepared for. Question girl, any other questions? What else do they eat? Well, it's a crocodilian so it kind of eats whatever it can fit in its mouth to an extent. We're going to start on fish and then Missouri is what we're going to use. Uh, it so don't also put your balls in its mouth. Don't, don't put your balls in its mouth. No, that was a penis joke by my girlfriend. Uh, they'll eat crawfish. They'll eat some of them. Have even eaten snails, from what I understand. They'll take to rodents. They'll take to other fish, chicken. Whole foods is very important for them to get that bone and calcium in. So you want to provide things with high calcium and bone content. So, so you're not, not talking about going grocery shopping at Whole Foods, the grocery store. You're no. just talking about putting in a whole entire rat. A whole rat, yes, like a whole pinky, a whole wean, a whole rat when he's big enough. 
Uh, if you're going to do chicken, you can get like the whole chicken leg where they get big enough and feed chicken legs. You want that bone piece in there or chicken wing pieces, something with that bone to get that calcium in there. It's can other reptiles live in the habitat with them or the enclosure with People them? People have successfully kept turtles with your dwarf caiman. Uh, we're not keeping any right now. We may when we put him into his full size enclosure, his adult enclosure, there will be plenty of room for that. But you can keep like a turtle with them. Something that's got a heart of shell they can't bite through. So, you know, that has been successful for a lot of people, yes. How do I convince my significant other that this is a good idea? You probably don't. You just got to keep bothering them over and over again. Like a child asking, are we there yet? Can I get a caiman? Can I get a caiman? And eventually they'll say yes. Uh, but they, they may lead you to some marital strife. So. so I shouldn't just bring a caiman home and hope for the best? Probably not going to be a good idea. That's what I didn't do. I did that with the rattlesnake. Any other questions, question girl, before this video gets me 10 minutes for an introduction? Um, can you pet it? Uh, you can, but you may run the risk of losing a finger. Not at this size, but I mean, they're, they're not a cuddly animal. They're not an animal that you're going to necessarily keep tame. It's going to cuddle up with you like a dog and enjoy you petting it. It's more for your benefit and less for its. But if you work with them enough, they can have somewhat of a, of a tame demeanor. Caimans are notorious for being a little more aggressive. Uh, alligators would be your best bet for a tame crocodilian. But then you're also dealing with 8 to 12 feet. If you live in the proper climate where you keep it outside, that's one thing. But indoors, an alligator is probably not the way to go. When you say tame it, does that mean that I can get it to do tricks? Actually, yes. They have been known to come to their name. They can be target trained for food. Uh, I've even heard rumors that somebody teaches an alligator to roll over. I don't know how true that is. But they can learn tricks. They can learn things. For a reptile, they are extremely intelligent. Your crocodilians and your monitor lizards are probably the smartest reptiles you'll ever deal with. She says she's done finally. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing her dwarf came in. We'll do some more on him, and we'll do some videos on when we build his setup. So we'll share a lot of Sir Chomps a lot with you guys because he's kind of near and dear to my heart. And don't call him Chomsky. <laughs>